almost up to temperature. Oh man, everything's done. So we should start first layer any moment now. directions. Supports in second layer. Rim done. Inner contours starting. Second layer done. So we are 25 minutes into the print for the Simplify 3D version. Everything is okay. Says Octoprint. Printing nicely. Directions. This is the long part. So everything's doing what it's supposed to do. Last twenty seconds of the print. It all looks good. big string when it pulled away after printing. There's a bit of support I need to break out. And I know it's a bit messy. It's it's P8AG and my printer is not the best. But it's a decent print and a functional part. Awaiting the start of the Super Slicer version. Hot end is nearly up to temperature, bouncing about a bit. It predicts quite a lot longer time, that's due to the layer height. The old uh, Simplify 3D settings were 0.2 millimeters layer height, this is 0.16, so more layers, of course more time.
sure what it's printing at this point. Maybe some humongous support. I think it's printing a big support part. That yeah, looks like it. I switched off the raising during uh, retraction because it took a lot of time, and I wanted to get as close to the super to the three simplify 3D settings as I was before. It's got the same retraction settings and it's not lifting just like the Simplify 3D settings were not lifting. Forty minutes into the print, eight minutes left. You can see some really weird spiky thingies. When the fan is automated, automatically kicked on and switched off again, I need a silicone sock around the hot end. That's next on the list. It is coming out well, I think. Let's hope the stringiness isn't too bad. Last few seconds of the print. Retract and go away. Again with a little wire left. I don't know why it does that, it always does it on PETG. Here's the Super Slicer version. There's a bit of noise in the background because the washing machine is running. Uh, there's a bit more stringing and I don't know why it does that. And unfortunately the supports seem to have merged with the first layer. I don't know whether that's visible in the picture. So it'll be difficult to break it out, but I'll give it a shot. With the supports taken away, broken off. Unfortunately, this also broke off a piece of the print. As you can see, this is a simplified 3D one. This is the Super Slicer one. Uh, the Supports did break away a lot better, a lot more nicely on this one. Except for the fact that they fused to the print part here, so it broke on the thinnest part. In here you can see there's a lot more to remove. I need a Dremel to clean that up. So in all, I had some more stringiness on this one. I don't know why. The supports were better, easier to break away. Three out of four. The fourth, fourth one busted the print. Finish-wise, this looks good. This looks better because of the thinner layer height. 
Both semi-decent. I don't know which one I prefer yet. <laughs> 